Hey, what's up? I'm with Jonathan Bay with Throwbacks, and um, today I'm responding to um, another Jersey challenge from a fellow Jersey content creator, YouTuber, whatever you want to call it, Jake, the Minnesota fan. So uh, if you don't know Jake, definitely go check out his page. I'm going to leave his um, link in the description. Jake has great collection, mostly a lot of Minnesota teams, but even besides, but beside that, he has just a lot of jerseys in general. And he also does other stuff besides jerseys on his page. Um, if you want to see someone get amazing deals on authentic jerseys and even swing mats, anything, just, yeah, this dude gets, he's able to get jerseys for 30 bucks cheaper, authentics, replicas, everything. It's it's insane. He's definitely the, um, the man when it comes to getting good deals. So shout out to you, Jake. Um, I'm going to put your page, your link in the description. So go check them out and I'm going to get started. Oh, so his challenge. Jake's challenge was a uh, favorite MLB, NBA, NHL, and uh, MLB, NBA, NFL, NHL jersey. So top jersey in each league that you own. So I'm making mine. So we're going to start with the NHL. My favorite NHL jersey I got is I got my Patrick Marlowe, uh, Patrick Marlowe Heritage jersey. Um, What's cool about this jersey, I love the patches. I love the color. You got the old school Sharks logo. I'm actually a, more of a fan of the new, newer Sharks logo, but I do like this as well. Got that old school vibe. Um, it is an authentic that got um, customized. So you got the, you know, not the crappy lettering that Adidas sends you that has, you know, the double stitching and all that. And the cool thing about this jersey is that it has the... The ninth, uh, seven, 1,768 games played Patrick Marlowe patch. Also with his um, the assistant captain or alternate captain patch as well. Um, and this patch here, they only wore it in two games. They wore it um, the day he broke um, Gordie Howe's record. Um, Gordie Howe had 1,767 games played. Patrick Marlowe, when he had his 1,768th game played. Um, they wore this patch, which was on, um, April 19, 2021. It was not a home game. So they had the white jerseys on, um, then their next game was on the 21st of that month, two days later, which was also an, a road game in, uh, Minnesota. So they did not wear this patch for that game, but then for that next game on, uh, April 24th, which was actually his 1770th game. Um, he, they wore this patch again. That was his first home game as the record holder. So they did wear that patch again with this jersey. So this was a patch only one for two games, only one time with this jersey. I love the patch. I love the meaning behind it and the fact that he did wear it for only one game with his jersey. So that is my top um, NHL jersey, my favorite NHL jersey in my collection. Next, we're gonna go to the NBA and the Warriors. Uh, my favorite NBA jersey that I own is my um, 1966 to 1967 Rick Barry. Mitchell Ness authentic jersey. Um, this was altered. It's size 54. So if the jog tags are a little off where they're supposed to be, you know, the placement, it is what it is. It was altered. These jerseys ran very long. Anyways, um, but yeah, so you got that beautiful chain stitching all around the jersey. Um, and yeah, I just love, I'm a, you know, like the song, My Heart's in San Francisco. I love San Francisco. That's where I was born, where I first lived. Um, moved back after high school. During high school, I was there every other weekend. Um, and even when I didn't live there, I was within about 20 minutes of San Francisco. So up until I was about 24, I always lived either in San Francisco or within 20, 25 minutes of San Francisco. So it's my favorite city where I hope to live again one day. But um, anyways, I just love all the San Francisco symbolism. This was obviously when the Warriors were playing in the Cow Palace, so they were, you know, in San Francisco, Daly City. Um, you got the Golden Gate Bridge. I love how it says the city, obviously representing San Francisco. I like the cursive there. You got the switch up, simple city letters right there. 24, I think that's a great number, especially San Francisco, you think about Willie Mays, Rick Barry, so I just like that number. And on the back, you got the cable car right there. And yeah, I, I, this was a jersey I'd always wanted, even when I was a kid. Um, I don't know. I've always wanted this jersey. I always loved the city logo. I remember when I was younger, like in high school, I had a sweater. Um, 
It was like high school, right after high school. I had a sweater, big black white sweater with the city on it, with that logo. So now I just bought a hat, the blue hat with the yellow city logo. One day when I get the blue version of this jersey, that will take the place of this because I would prefer the blue one over the yellow one. I don't own the blue, own blue, blue one. My words are all messed up. Anyways, NBA favorite jersey that I own right here, the city, uh, you know. Warriors right here. So that's that. Now we'll move on to football. Football, I got a TO. And this is not the Mitchell and Ness version. That is not um, you know, definitely certain things off with that. But anyways, it's not the point. Um this is the Reebok Pro Cut TO jersey. So it does have the you know, elastic yoke, whatever the sleeves you want to call it right there. Got the correct, you know, screen print. Um, what do you call it? Stripes and logo here, which on the Mitchell Ness, they're, they're like heat press or solid. It's not supposed to be like that. Anyways, that's not the point of the video. So this is a Teal rookie jersey. This was his first season. They were the 50-year patch. The um, 49ers, 50 years being a franchise, their patch right there. Um, so it's 1996. Uh, size 48. It actually does run slim, um, but because it's a pro cut jersey. So, and this is the two things. One thing I always wanted a TO jersey growing up. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know if I ever even had a replica TO jersey, but I always wanted a TO jersey. TO jersey, and I was finally able to get this bad boy right here, rookie jersey with the 50 year patch, which I wanted one with the 50 year patch. And um, the other cool thing about this is that this was the only year. That in this style that the Giants, uh, Giants, that the Niners wore gold. Um, they had triple stitch on the on the name on the back with the gold. So, '96 <clears throat> was the year that they introduced this style of jerseys, which to me still I, this is my favorite style. Um, at least compared to the ones they have now and like in the '80s and stuff, I like this one the best. This style. But the cool thing was, oh well, like I said, they introduced it in '96 is the first year, and they had the gold. In the lettering after that starting 97 they took that out and it was just the white and black which was the um they kept until they got rid of these jerseys so this is the only season where they had like i said they had the uh, triple color with the gold in the name it's a to rookie jersey dope patch right there and it's a pro cut um yeah that's really it um yeah triple stitch everything so that's that my favorite player growing up right there so that's my favorite NBA, NBA NFL jersey. Let's get back on vacation, so I'm all over the place. Now, my favorite MLB jersey is, if I'm not mistaken, this is my newest jersey in the collection. Jersey I've wanted for a long time. It's a grail of mine, something that I, I uh, yeah. Anyways, no talking. Right here, <clears throat> we got the 1951 Mitchell and Ness uh, older run uh, Willie Mays jersey. So this was his rookie season. Uh, he won Rookie of the Year. You got the 1951 National League 75th Year Anniversary Patch. That's what this patch is. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, May's Rookie Year. Uh, flannel style jersey. You got the felt lettering, felt numbering, all that. But yeah, it's a jersey I've always, I wanted a Willie Mays authentic uh, Giants jersey for the longest time. Finally got one. Um, you know, they're charging, like I said before in another video, they're charging... 600 last time they released these jerseys from Mitchell Ness and even at the dugout store because it came with the box. I didn't want the box, I want the jersey. I was able to get this one for a way better deal than that on eBay and it's an older run. So that's my that's my favorite right here. Best player of all time, Willie Mays. You know, he's up there. If he ain't the best, he's one of the best. But if you look at all around players, he's definitely top tier. So that's that. Rookie year, Mitchell and Ness, Willie Mays jersey. Home jersey. This is when they're the New York Giants. Not the San Francisco Giants. This is when they're still in New York. So that's my list right there. So shout out to Jake. Thanks for putting this um, challenge out there. Go check his channel out. Like I said, his video is going to be, or his um, page is going to be in the description and along with his um, his top video, top, top four league video, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, check him out. Check out his video. Everyone have a good day. Shout out Jake. Um, like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like my top, um, <laughs> my list, you know what I mean. Um, 
And subscribe if you're not already. And if you are subscribed, thanks for being there again. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.